I'm not going to sit here and be negative about a man that gave me the chance to have played for my my boyhood team. Yeah. You know that I'd always dreamt of playing for. Um, you know, for me, like I said, he gave me the chance to do that. Uh, he believed in me. He believed in the rest of the young lads that um, came through this uh, with us. Uh, funny thing was, uh, obviously I'm involved in the MLS and I'm involved in bringing my own franchise into, um, into the league. And actually, he was one of the first numbers that I was going to call to be manager, but <laughs> not now. I'm not so sure anymore, <laughs> but um, I'm not sure I'd accept. But, uh, well, he's missed no, out on the chance no, for a few years. All, in the jo- all joking it. aside, you know, I think at the end of the day, um, I, I'm, I wouldn't be negative about Sir Alex Ferguson because he was the man that gave me hmm. the chance to live my dream. I'm very good. I, have just, have, I just have a really short question. Okay. What's your next tattoo going to be? My next tattoo, um, I don't know yet. Uh, I had uh, one pretty recently. Um, I've got quite a few, so I think it's going to start slowing down at some point. But um, I don't know what it's going to be yet. So if you have any ideas, send it to me. When I joined Manchester United, I never wanted to leave them. Um, When I was told that they were selling me, um, literally when I heard that, that was the first time I spoke to Real Madrid. Wow. Um, so uh, that was the time when I realised that my dream of continuing to play at Manchester United was over uh, and I needed to pick another team and I was lucky that Real Madrid wanted me uh, but in all honesty I say it in the book I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't watch Manchester United for two years I was that kind of gutted really, really. You know, it was that I, difficult to leave it was that difficult to leave and that difficult to come to terms with the fact that I wasn't there anymore <laughs> so tell us about that um, yeah it's something that I'm uh, that I'm very interested in when I signed my contract um, six seven years ago uh, my manager Simon Fuller actually got a clause in the contract that uh, enabled me to have a, a franchise at the end of my playing career um, and obviously now I've stopped playing a year before we started looking around at different places. Uh, Miami was obviously one of them. Um, you know, we've looked at other places as well, but you know, I'm excited about that. You know, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about staying involved in football. Um, and, in, and an owner of a, of a team is something that I'm passionate about. To speak to you, you then sign the iPad and suddenly your autograph appears on his timeline. Yeah, incredible. Um, I know you've been busy chatting to fans already. You're going to be chatting to some more in a bit. Neil is waiting.